Hey everyone, it's Arcanus Gaming. Thank you for tuning in to another Project Ascension video, and thank you for supporting the Arcane Mage series. This only took us three videos, uh, but we've rolled some pretty, pretty interesting, interesting things, so you guys are going to have to let me know if this is worth continuing. Um, I do have some interesting ideas in the video as well, so chime in and let me know if you think these ideas are going to be fun. But either way, I really do appreciate everyone supporting me. Make sure to like and subscribe again. It really does help. And enjoy. We're about to hit level 46. Uh, arcane power. I mean, we're still looking for some big DPS cooldowns. Hopefully we get one here. Hmm, interesting. Devouring plague. So with devouring plague, it is an extra dot. It does shadow damage, but it does heal us a little bit. I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to be worth putting that on a target. Um, since we don't have a heal, it might be a little bit worth. But we're probably going to try to... I mean, it's a dot, so we can just throw it, off, throw it on and refresh it if the fight lasts long. But I can't imagine us utilizing or putting any talent points to make it stronger. Because uh, we're already focusing on our arcane stuff. So, first ability for the video, Devouring Plague. Pretty cool. We'll get some, I don't know, probably very little healing off of it, but it's healing nonetheless. So, we're here in Gadget Sand, so let's keep continuing to quest. I don't think there's a bonus zone here. I, is there a way to check? Can't I, like, talk to one of these guys to see if there's a bonus zone? Okay, bonus zones. All right. It's not working. Am I lagging? I think I'm lagging. Or this board just doesn't work. Uh, that's probably the case. But either way, let's quest some more and get some more levels. And okay, so a really good thing in Tenaris, this area with the Elise Sansoro Watch is actually a bonus experience zone. Uh, so what we did is we did buy a potion and we're just gonna try to get through these levels as fast as we can. Um, someone in the comments in the last video suggested slow, actually, which sounds pretty sick. Reduce the, increase the times of running attacks and casting time. Slow's actually godlike. I don't think I've ever used or picked slow in Project Ascension. So, um, since we don't actually have a slow, that might actually be the play. So, um, thank you for suggesting that. And we're probably, that's what we're probably going to pick besides, like, um... What's it called? Uh, Icy Veins uh, for our DPS cooldown. I know there's a lot of cool stuff like Thunderstorm. Uh, but I think I mean, Slow might be the play here. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys think. I've never actually used Slow. And I might just pick it because we've never actually chosen it, be chosen it before. And even though it, if it's not the best for the build. I mean, I've made so many characters. And I've been wanting to try different things. So... Holy Nova here at level 48. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be using this too much, but it is a heal. I mean, we're getting we're getting heals, but we're, they're like very weird, weird heals. Like Holy Nova can be useful uh, if we're kiting around and needing to use it and damage at the same time. Uh, but with Devouring Plague, if I put it on someone here, you'll see it's... Very minimal hearing, healing. 16 heal uh, tick, which is probably not even close to being as good as like something like Renew and Regrowth. Um, uh, but yeah, maybe slow is the play. Um, but we'll see. Ty well, how much is Typhoon? Typhoon is four. Uh, 40 second cooldown. Slow is... A four second cooldown we'll see um i'm probably gonna go slow just because again i i don't think i've ever used the ability here in project ascension and um that's what it's all about trying new different things see if they work and just have fun uh yeah and again i've never used it so we'll see let's keep leveling here we should be getting levels pretty fast and again the damage isn't too bad uh we wasted an impact proc there bop that's probably our biggest crit but let's get to level 50. We are going to be able to get a reroll, and that's going to be nice. We're probably just going to spend it. Fuck it. All right, level 50. That was super quick. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Lava Lash. Um, 
I don't know, man. There's been like a theme that we've been getting really good abilities. I've been leveling other characters on the side. And this would be a very fun ability to get if we were the specific build we were looking for. But uh, I don't think there's going to be any use for Lava Lash in this build. Unless there's like some fun like arcane thing that they've done with it. Uh, but I don't think so. So Lava Lash at level 50. We do get a reroll. But I think... Uh, we're going to just stick here until all these become gray. Uh, I, I, well, we can at least get to level 52 because level 54, we stop getting abilities. All right, so we ended up getting into a prison run. Let's see, let's see our burst here. Let's check our... Oh, well, we missed. Whatever we tried to hit, we just missed. So that's not good. We're probably getting fucked. <laughs> All right, let's, let's not show current. Let's do overall. I mean, we're still doing pretty bad in overall. Uh, yeah, again, I don't want to do Lunar Spirits, but we are going to level to 52 here. We actually hit 53. Let's see what we get for our last ability. Ancestral Spirit. Wow, that too. It's been a rough video. This it's, it's been rough for this character, for sure. Uh, hopefully our rerolls are going to be able to uh, carry us a little bit here. Uh, but let's get out of here. Um, we, we're still here in this area, but we've out leveled it. So what we're going to do now is we do, I thought we had a quest to turn in. I guess not. We're probably going to head over to Western Plaguelands, do some quests over there. We'll keep queuing prisons. I think that that group is going to be spamming it. So hopefully we can get in again. Uh, who's this? Level 43. Okay, now. Not going to gank a gray, but, uh, all right. Let's keep questing and keep signing up for these dungeons. Hopefully, we'll be able to get to 60 pretty soon here. We do have a potion running still. Um, yeah, I mean, we're probably going to be, yeah, we'll wait for 60 to use our rerolls. But again, we might be going slow for our four pointer. For, uh, for two, we go Icy Veins and something else. I'm not sure what else I should get. Um, but what we'll, what, what we'll do for the video is we'll, we'll level to 60. We'll do our rerolls. We'll pick our abilities and talents. And what I want you guys to do, hopefully, I mean, it does help. If you guys would comment, let me know what I should pick for this character. I do like when everyone in the YouTube comments interacts. I do read and I do listen to you guys. Uh, so when I make these characters and these YouTube videos, this is kind of like our character and I want to build it to, you know, what you guys suggest and, uh, maybe some, do some new things that we haven't seen before. Uh, like someone suggested slow, never actually used it. So I think it'll be fun to go slow. And what I think I'll be doing is once I get a character to 60 from now on, I'll try to... Uh, gear him up and do like a PvP video or a PvE video depending on the character uh, to, to show off I mean the build and how far we've gone with it and if it's effective uh, I think that'll be that that'll be a good idea for just the series to end off the characters um, Let's see if any of these I can't even use any of these yet uh, That's probably the best one. Oh this one, but it's a uh, has a legendary but either way Let's use our reroll real quick. Let's spend our talent points uh, gives the arcane blast off fire for two chance. Oh yeah, missile barrage is actually disgustingly strong. And reduce the mana cost. Let's just throw some points in here for now. Let's go ahead and use our reroll here. I mean, we'll probably do. Let's just get rid of lava lash or holy shield too. I mean, we'll get our talent point back. Hopefully, maybe have a chance to get icy vein still. Uh, so let's get rid of. Lava, I mean, let's get rid of Holy Shield. Either or doesn't really matter. All right, let's see. So it's a surprise to everyone, including me. Let's see what we get for our reroll at 50. Didn't we roll overpower on this character? I feel like I get overpower. We have, no, we actually rolled rend. <laughs> so we're a rend overpower character now. Time to switch up the whole build. We got... This is amazing. We actually got Blood Rage, Charge, Overpower, and Rend from random rolls. Not even starting with it. This could actually be a starter. Well, not because of Overpower, but that's pretty funny. So, 
like the video if you think we should just switch this character right over to a random overpower character. Uh, but <laughs> let's get to level 60 here. Uh, we're probably going to head over to Western Plaguelands because we get a lot of experience for doing those quests. And hopefully we get a prison run. But uh, let me know what you guys think about that idea of uh, once we finish a character, uh, I'll go ahead and um, just make the video and you guys can let me know what we should be building towards, what talents we should pick, be picking. Uh, I'll try to gear it up a little bit and do like a PvP video or a PvE video. <clears throat> so we're actually we're actually here in a bonus experience zone in Western Plaguelands. I figured I'd just stick here and level it out. Uh, rather than do quests. It's not like we get Marks of Ascension anyway. And Missile Barrage is so fun. Let's see if I can proc it here. I don't know. Does it say Moonfire as well? I think Moonfire and Starfire have a chance to proc it. Didn't even get it there. Let's see, Let's see if we can proc it, please. Nice. Dude, we proc it twice. Look how fast this shit shoots. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm glad that we're... I, I, Totally for even forgot about that. Uh, holy shit! Forgot about that talent, but man, super fun to use. Let's go ahead and ignite. What's the chance of it proccing again? Just hit level 54, but we won't be getting an ability, but that's fine. Um, give you arcane blast and starfire. Huh? It says arcane blast and starfire, but I could have sworn we procked it off a of moonfire. Possible. Okay, so okay, I just needed to read a little bit more. Uh, Moonfire does have a chance to proc it as well. It's just, I think, a higher or lower chance. It's a lower chance. Uh, but still, the rotation that I typically do is Starfire, Moonfire, and then Arcane Missile. So hopefully, like that, by the time we get to Arcane Missile, we'll have it primed and ready to pretty much machine gun every anything down. Bom, 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 bom. Oh my god, it's so fun. Yeah, we're just gonna stick to here. Um, I don't know if there's a daily here. Probably should have picked up a daily, but uh, it'll be fine. We'll just, uh, what we'll do is we'll use the rerolls that we get from just leveling to 60 and picking the one up at uh, level 60. And then I think it's like five. I'm, I'm talking too much, I'm fucking up my rotation. But either way, we should, it shouldn't take us too long to get 60 here. So we can go ahead, do our rerolls and pick our level 60 talents. Oh shit, we have a 60 battle going. The um, the bonus experience don't stop. We have Manthorn versus Relight. Looks like Relight is a... They're both melee. Oh shit. Alright, one of them is a Pestilence. I think one of them is like a Shadow Daughter. Um, and one's... I don't know. It's hard to tell. One's a Paladin and one's a Shadow Daughter. I'm just trying to tell by their mogs. Relight has Bubble. Holy shit, he's going to heal up here. Manthorn has a heal as well. He's going to go ahead and sit here and heal. They're both just going to sit here and heal. Relight... Hits him with a moon fire and it's going to heal right in his face. Doesn't seem like Manthorn has an interrupt. He does have poisons though. He's going to be able to slow him down. Real Light does have... Oh yeah, he's definitely a, a spell pow power paladin, I believe. Um, but it looks like it's kind of even right now. It looks like a really good fight. It looks like Holy versus Shadow. Manthorn is dipping low here. Real Light disengaged and charged. He's going for the heal. Yeah, Manthorn does not have an interrupt. He's going to have to heal here or it's gonna, he's going to lose this fight. It's very close. Man throwing down to the wire. Holy shit. And Relight takes it. What a fucking fight. I don't know why I'm cheering the Alliance scum, but that was a that was a really good one. Holy shit, that was down to the wire. Were they Fellforge? No, they weren't even Fellforge. This was just a straight up brawl. Good fight. That was probably one of the first fights I've seen <laughs> in level 60 high risk. That's pretty funny. I guess they were fighting for the, the spot to farm here. I'm um, in high risk. I, I guess this is a good spot to be. Uh, I typically would farm up here in the elites, but I don't know. Maybe they've changed the drop rate. But a uh, really exciting fight there. It was down to the wire, but the Paladin was able to take the fight. I think because um, Manthorn, I guess I, I think that was his name, didn't have a didn't have an interrupt. That's why interrupts are so important. He probably could have gotten really close. Really, she looks like he had all the Paladin abilities. He had Bubble. I mean, he had Holy Wrath. And uh, I think he was rocking Seal of... Or Seal of Light? Or Seal of Righteousness, excuse me. Uh, but either way, good fight. What we're going to do here is going to finish off 
leveling here since the bonus zone isn't isn't active anymore and get to level 60 we're probably just gonna head over to booty bay to do our rerolls um yeah good fight to both of them that's really refreshing to see level 60 pvp all right so we turned in one of the college in quests and we're half a bar from 60 so we'll go ahead and just kill some bears right outside of town to get to 60. Now that I think about it, like watching that fight was probably the most World of Warcraft fight I've ever seen. We got a in in Western Plaguelands, a paladin was fighting an undead, like a shadow undead, warlock type melee thing, and <laughs> it was just pretty funny. Now that I think about it, like what what other place than Western Plaguelands? But. Uh, Anyway, that is level 60. Let's go ahead and get our chest of fortune here. Go ahead and do that. Um, so we will have four, re five rerolls. Um, we okay. Well, let's go to the crossroads. Same thing. I think we'll be able to pick up a reroll in the crossroads. So let's go ahead and take care of these rerolls. I am going to leave talents open just in case. We do have a chance to still get icy veins. Um, and some good cooldowns with our talent point being open. Uh, so, who knows? Icy Veins Arcane Power. Go ahead and do that. Can I get more rerolls by doing like one of these quick quests? I think you can. There's like a quest you can do to... Like do... Um, Rerolls on random enchants, whatever. Uh, let's just get rid of these really quickly. And then you guys can let me know what you think of the build and what we should get at 60. I'm going to go ahead and give you my choices. And then you guys let me know if it's good. Or maybe you should be seeing something different from what I'm seeing. Uh, but uh, let's make this character together. And then when I gear it up, I'll go ahead and just try to do a PvP video. See if I can get some good PvP going on. Battlegrounds, usually you just get shit on. But we'll see. Um, <clears throat> or do like 1v1 arenas, but let's start these rerolls again. We are leaving a talent point open. Let's get rid of the distracting shot. I'm just so disgusted. Uh, D. All right, here we go. Distracting shot first. Let's see what we get. I'm going to go ahead. Combat log. Come on. Huh, what is this? Vampiric Embrace. Does this heal me as well? Ah, so another heal? Another Shadow Priest heal. Man, if we were Shadow Priest, we'd be super happy right now. Uh, I think it's costing us a talent point. It is. So we're probably... Let's roll off Lava Lash and Vampiric Embrace so we have a chance just to get a talent point back, if anything. Uh, but... Okay, I already see what we got. This is a big old F. Stone Claw Totem. And then... Uh, okay, let's roll that off. We'll keep the res because... If we have a res, we don't have a chance to get another one. Oops. Uh, oof. Scorch. I don't think we're going to be needing Scorch. Uh, let's get rid of Wind Fury Totem because we don't need this as well. There's a lot of abilities we actually don't need. <clears throat> Wind Fury Totem for Cold Snap. Cold Snap, interesting. So this is really good. This is really good. So we can Ice Block, and then when Hypothermia comes back, comes leaves, we can Ice Block again, or it goes off cooldown. But can we? Does Cold Snap get rid of Hypothermia? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, we get two Ice Blocks in the span of like 30 seconds. So, I think that's a pretty good pickup, honestly. So, Cold Snap. Wasn't even thinking about an ability like this. Uh, let's reroll. I mean, again, there's a lot we don't need. Blood Rage 4. It's our last reroll. And we will be doing more rerolls later. Uh... <laughs> What is happening? We probably should have kept Blood Rage at this point. We rolled Charge, Mortal Strike, Overpower, and Rend on this character. What are the chances? It's like the character... My character hates ranged and hates casters. It wants to just become a melee. 
Um, yikes. Okay, but it, we'll still be able to get a bunch of marks of ascension and do more rerolls. Uh, but let me go ahead and let you guys know what I'm thinking with this build. I mean, we'll do our best to try to get some rerolls and make this into a you know a manageable build. Uh, but we'll see. But I was thinking, first we will get slow, since we haven't tried this yet. So slow, icy veins uh, for two, and then the last two. I was thinking, I think it's Shadow Priest, Silence. So Silence is a two for one, or a two, two for one, a two uh, ability essence talent. And I don't have an interrupt, and I got shit on by that caster in my last video, so I figured maybe if I had a Silence of some sort, I'd be able to uh, stop the heal or stop the casting on us, get our damage out and keep them on their heels but that's what i'm thinking for this build so far uh but let me know what you guys think is this uh is it worth continuing do you guys want to see a pvp video with this uh character or maybe a pve video and what do you think about the picks that i'm thinking of going silence icy veins and slow but either way i really do appreciate you guys following the series thank you for so much support make sure to like subscribe and comment below and i will make sure to you know just like and uh <laughs> I, I do my best to try to reply to all the comments as well but uh i'll see you guys in the next one peace